Hey guys, welcome to Bootstrap tutorial series. My name is Ripon Dutto. In this tutorial series, I will be trying to cover almost all of the CSS classes, Bootstrap classes. Okay, so what is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is the most popular HTML, CSS, and JavaScript framework for developing responsive mobile application. Okay, um, and this tutorial series is for who has at least basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript knowledge. Okay, or if you don't have, it's okay, you can continue and you can learn from this tutorial. All right, I think all of you are super excited to learn something new. Okay, so let's get started. In this tutorial series, I'm gonna use um, Visual Studio, but for your case, you can use any editor. Okay, and I will be keeping separated all the files in a separate folder so you can practice this code. After completing this series, I will be uploading this source code into my web. Okay, so this is Bootstrap Basic. I am going to create one HTML file. Let's say index. So this is a basic HTML template. You must have a doc type HTML, then HTML, XML, NS with the markup head and body so for this tutorial I want to add title like bootstrap basics okay hmm. and what else I have to add the reference of bootstrap so how can I get the reference you can get the reference from this website getbootstrap.com then you can download the bootstrap then you can add from here you can add I mean you can download the bootstrap files then you can add those references in your HTML file let's see what are those files CSS you see you have this is the main bootstrap CSS file and it has some other theme and minified version also okay so you have to add this bootstrap CSS file into your HTML here or you can do another thing which is CDN CDN is here bootstrap CDN that means you do not need to download the bootstrap CSS files just you have to add this reference okay just copy and paste it here that's it so you, do, you do not need to download the bootstrap uh, files okay hmm so now your HTML template is ready. Now what you can do, you know, Bootstrap has a bunch of classes. So one of the mostly used classes is container. So deep classical container. And we will be keeping all the HTML elements or you know everything inside of the container so this is the one of the class we can use it and then what um let's see first i want to see this html so i am displaying yep you can see what our title is they are bootstrap basics and this is our html we can inspect and we can see that html body has one div 
it has one contain one class named container and you can see this container this is the container class and this class is coming from this file what is this file bootstrap dot main dot css that mean from this file bootstrap css file okay and it says with what 1170 pixel so this is the width okay then what else we can do we can add few more HTML element that says h1 bootstrap basics okay save it and refresh the page you can see bootstrap basics and then what we can add some other bootstrap class like let's say jambutron i will have a separate uh, tutorial for this jambutron but for this demo purpose i'm just going to use it so we have a jambutron what is it run and see you can see that it has a what that shadow um, rectangle shape box so why we we are using this jambutron jambutron is basically used um for extra attention for user you can see this is an extra attention for user and most of the time we are using this jambutron in their home page okay and what and we can add few more tags so we have to add we can add in a p tag let's say bootstrap is the most popular HTML, CSS, and JS framework. Okay. And you press the page. Yep. So, so it makes very easier. Okay. So you can just use it. And in this lesson or in this part, basically, I'm trying to show you how to add bootstrap reference to your class I mean to your HTML file and how to use some bootstrap class and container and jambutron both of them are bootstrap classes in the next series of tutorials I will be trying to show you all the bootstrap classes which are mostly used in our daily application okay I hope you will be enjoying this tutorial series. If you have any question or any problem, please write in the comment box. I will be trying to answer your questions. And if you know the answers, someone is asking the question, you can also answer or you can reply those questions as well. Okay. Thank you.